you guys, class of 16, congratulations. You know, congratulations. <laughs> you know, I remember sitting there where you are now, you know, probably the same emotions, like excited, happy. I don't know about you guys, I was scared. You know, didn't know what was coming next. So graduation is this weekend. And I had a job working for Ford Motor Company in, in Virginia, in Annandale, Virginia. Uh, one of my best friends uh, was, was working for General Electric, uh, also in Virginia. And so we go back home, I'm from DC, and it's right outside of DC is where we both are working. And we're looking for a place. We're looking for an apartment to stay in. I'm staying at home, he's staying with a buddy. He's getting the stipend for, for housing, but he's staying with a buddy, so he's pocketing that. I'm staying at home. All right, a month after graduation, you know, my dad comes home and he says, so John, how is that apartment hunting thing going on <laughs> with you and Jimmy? You know, oh, Pops, you know, it's coming okay. We can't really find a place. It's right between where he's working and where I'm working, but you know, we're gonna find something soon. This is a month after graduation. This is July. He says, well, son, you got a week. <laughs> then you got to get out of my house. <laughs> so Jimmy and I found a place about two days later. <laughs> my dad kicks me out of the house. Like, come on, man, give me some slack. Give me till September. Um, you know, but anyway, um, you guys have a huge burden slash responsibility slash opportunity slash privilege. You are the leaders of tomorrow. You are the leaders of our world. You are the leaders of this institution. Go ahead. And it's crucial that you understand that you have the responsibility not only to achieve, serve, lead, which you have to do, but you have to give back, and you have to try to pull somebody along with you. And it's really important. Most of you, maybe not everyone, you know, you're sitting here now, and, and, and when you're going through the process, it might have been hell. But you had a pretty good time here. And with each passing year, you're gonna realize how great it was. And there are a lot of people that came before you that helped make your experience what it was. And it's your responsibility to not only support your teams, to support your programs, to support this institution, all right, with your time, all right, with your heart, with your caring, with your money, all right, it's important, all right, a lot of you, Mr. Denunzio sitting right here, Denunzio Pool. Right. Jay Sherrard isn't here, but is one of the main people responsible for the, the 52 Stadium. All right, Weaver Track. And, and, and those guys were able to give significant chunks of money, but every little bit helps. And it's not just about the money. It's about staying connected. It's about being involved. This institution does a great job of making sure you stay connected. And it's important that you guys understand as you go forward, you are leaders of the future. You the leaders of tomorrow. It's, it's important that you realize your dreams. Achievement, leadership, service. That's important that you, that's not just for your time at Princeton. That's after you leave here. That's essential that you understand that, that you embrace that. 